hello welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation square root of x over x whole to the power x minus 1 is equal to x over square root of x whole to the power x minus 3 we need to find all possible values of x so let's start this square root of x can be written as x to the power 1 over 2 divided by x whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to x divided by this square root of x can be written as x to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 3. Now by using this power rule a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. This uh, x to the power 1 over 2 over x will become x to the power 1 over 2 minus 1 whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to this uh, x over x to the power 1 over 2 will become x to the power 1 minus 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 3 next x to the power 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to x to the power this 1 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 3. Now by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power negative 1 over 2 by this power x minus 1 and we multiply this power 1 over 2 by this power x minus 3. Like this x to the power negative 1 over 2 times x minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 over 2 times x minus 3. Next, x to the power negative 1 over 2 times x negative x over 2. Negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 plus 1 over 2 is equal to x to the power 1 over 2 times x x over 2 and 1 over 2 times negative 3 negative 3 over 2. Now from here we take a natural log of both sides ln of x to the power negative x over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to ln of x to the power x over 2 minus 3 over 2. Next ln of x to the power we write the common denominator 2. Common denominator 2 and this negative x will come here negative x plus this one come here plus 1 is equal to ln of x to the power we write the common denominator 2 common denominator 2 and this x will come here minus this 3 will come here now by using this natural log property ln of a to the power m is equal to m times ln of a this expression will become negative x plus 1 over 2 times ln of x is equal to this expression will become x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x. Now we move this uh, x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x uh, to the left side. This uh, negative x plus 1 can be written as uh, 1 minus x over 2 times 
ln of x and this uh, positive x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x will become negative x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, we can factor out this ln of x. So, ln of x as a common factor and in bracket left 1 minus x over 2 minus x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression ln of x is equal to 0 or this expression 1 minus x over 2 minus x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Now, to find the value of x from this equation, we introduce base e to both sides e to the power ln of x is equal to e to the power 0 and e to the power ln of x is equal to x is equal to e to the power 0 is 1. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, from this equation, we write the common denominator 2. In this 1 will come here, this negative x will come here. And due to this minus, this positive x will become negative x. And this negative 3 will become plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this 1 plus this 3 will become 4, negative 1x minus 1x will become negative 2x divided by 2 is equal to 0. Now, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, the right side we multiply by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, at left side we are left with 4 minus 2x is equal to 0 times 2, 0. And we move this uh, negative 2x to the right side, then this equation will become 4 is equal to 2 times x and from here we divide both sides by 2. This 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and we get the value of x from here 4 divided by 2 2 this is the second value of x this is the second solution of this equation and first we found the first solution x1 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to 1 so these are the two solutions of this equation now let's verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is square root of x over x whole to the power x minus 1 is equal to x over square root of x whole to the power x minus 3. First, in this equation, we put the value of x 1. Then, this equation will become square root of 1 divided by 1 whole to the power 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 whole to the power this power 1 minus 3. Next, this square root of 1 is 1 divided by 1 whole to the power this 1 minus 1 is 0 is equal to 1 divided by this square root of 1 is 1 whole to the power 1 minus 3 negative 2. Now, this 1 divided by 1 is 1 to the power 0 is equal to 1 divided by 1 1 to the power negative 2 and 1 to the power 0 is 1 is equal to 1 to the power negative 2 is 1. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. 
so this is verified that x is equal to 1 is a valid solution now in this equation we put this value of x 2 then this equation will become square root of 2 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to in place of this x we write 2 divided by square root of 2 whole to the power in place of this x we write 2 minus this 3. Next square root of 2 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1 is 1 is equal to 2 divided by square root of 2 whole to the power 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Now, this is square root of 2 over 2 to the power 1 is square root of 2 over 2 is equal to by using this power rule a over b whole to the power negative n is equal to b over a whole to the power n. This 2 over square root of 2 to the power negative 1 will become square root of 2 over 2. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x2 2 is a valid solution.